Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and in today's video, I'm gonna share with you how you're able to turn your Samsung phone here in 2025 into a Windows device, but running on Samsung One UI 8. Now you have all of your capabilities of using your phone, how you always have, but you just have it fitted and formulated and looking aesthetically a little bit different. So if you love all of these tiles and you're able to create ones that have groups, so you can group these up together, you'd also be able to create some that have cubes. So this way you can have four different applications in one little tile you can do that. Also, you can set up some gestures or some double taps. So if you double tap somewhere, you can set it up to do a shortcut or open up an application. You also have gestures where if you swipe up with two fingers, you can open up YouTube or really anything that you want. This thing is fully customizable and there's a lot that you're able to do. So how you're able to get this one installed and set up, you just go right inside of the Play Store. You'll go over to the search and you'll just search for Square Home. Now, the one that I have here is this one. This is just called Square Home from Total Apps. So that is what it looks like. Now, so far, I have not run into any issues. Uh, I've tried another launcher, but there was a little bit of problems with that. This one so far is smooth, and I like how I can switch between using One UI 8 or using this. Now, how you can get this one set up as the default or switch it back. So if you're afraid of completely changing up your phone, don't be. That was actually why I tested it here in the S24 Ultra, and I might actually even just throw it on my S25 Ultra for fun. Now, you go inside of your settings. Now, once inside of settings, this is where you'll head over into apps. Now, inside of apps, this is where you can choose your default applications, you know, your default internet, default digital assistant. And here is where you're able to change it from One UI 8 over into the, the Square Home. Now, here's what happens. Let's say that we go and we go back inside of the Square Home. So it's just running right here. Anytime that you go inside of something and then you go back, it'll take you back to pretty much this launcher that is right here. Now, what happens though, if this one is not default, when you swipe up, it just takes you right back home and, and you're right back to where you were from before. So that is why I like this one because you don't have to be afraid of completely changing up the device then having to reset up everything all over again. You're right back to where you were originally. So let me put this back as default and let me show you a lot of the stuff that you're able to do with Square Home. So again, all I did was I went to the default apps. I went to the, the home app. I'm gonna switch it over to Square and here we are. So now if I swipe up, it's not gonna get me back to my regular One UI 8 home screens. Now taking a look at the screen that you have, when you first bring it in, it'll, it'll kind of give you something a little similar to this. And then I made a few changes. So you'll have little areas that you can add in text and so then this way you can bring in little barriers so that you can separate a few things and you can put in different words. Then you can just move all of these around. So if you want one of these to be moved somewhere else, you just press and hold and then you just drag and drop it. And again, this thing is completely free form. Just kind of put it anywhere and everywhere you want it to be. The other thing that you can do is let's say that you press and hold on one of these and you can go inside of settings and then you can change the style, the launch options, the tap actions. So if you want to change the style, you can. So you can bring it in as a completely different color. And you can see that my phone, I switched that one over into green. Contacts was already orange. When it came down to my email, I brought it over into gray. When it came to this YouTube one right here, I was able to switch it. And again, it's really cool because you have cubes, you have these little clusters that you can bring in together and everything just works very well. And then here is all the rest of your applications. This one right now, currently, and you can change this, is just all set up in these little tiles again. You can switch this over into a list if you would like. And then if you swipe over, then it brings you into your, your alphabet and then you're able to find things much quicker. And that's the same thing that will also happen if you do that inside of your contacts. If you swipe over from the edge, then you can bring in that alphabetical list and all the letters and you can find your contacts super quick. So again, when it comes down to these tiles, if you hit on the settings, you have a lot of settings for that one little tile that you see, you can also delete it. And then this is where you can change how big you want it to be. So if you bring it in over into small, it's gonna go small and it won't get any bigger than that. If you go to wide, then you're able to manipulate this even more. So I'm gonna swipe on back because this thing is wide and I'm gonna press and hold and then I'm gonna bring it over here. And again, you can see the background, you see how it's getting smaller. So I can put it there, I can put it here. So if I still kind of want it to be a little biggish, but not that little square that you see here and I wanna have a little bit of space in between there, you can do that. And then if you wanna bring it on back, you just swipe it over and then it's gonna get large again. So it's very customizable. 
Now, on the bottom, this is where you have your plus. So this is where you're able to bring in all these things that you see. So you can bring in an application. So you just tap there. And let's say that I bring in, let's find something here that we don't already have. Let's say that I bring in Facebook. So it's gonna go there underneath my apps. Again, I can rearrange it, move it anywhere I want to. Let's say that maybe I want Facebook to be bigger or smaller. I can make it a large. And so it's large, just like my applications. So if there's an application that you use a ton, then you might wanna do that. I can bring it down over here to look like that. Again, it's, it's super flexible on how you want all of these tiles to look. Now, let's say that we want to make a cube. So a cube, this is where you'll have all these different applications just by swiping up and down. So you can see that I have it set up with this one right here. So what I have is I have YouTube, I have YouTube Music, I have a direct dial, and then I have search. And they all work independently. So if I tap there, it's gonna open up my YouTube. If I was to swipe up, this is gonna open up my YouTube Music. If I was to swipe up again, I would be able to direct dial and call them. If I go right here, then it's gonna be my search. So it's just super cool to have all that. Then you have shortcuts. So this is, uh, it just turned on my flashlight in the back of this device. This is just showing me my notifications. This is showing me my quick settings. So I wouldn't even have to scroll down. Again, I mean, it's just a lot of fun, you know, goes into this. So you just tap this and maybe on this one, I want it to be an application. And since I'm gonna delete this thing anyways, I'm gonna go to Bixby and I want it to launch the app. Now I'm gonna swipe it up. I'm gonna go here. Maybe this time I want this one to be a shortcut. And then I want this one to, again, I could do direct dial like I did from before. Maybe I can have this one be search song, swipe up. And then with this one, maybe I wanna do like a launcher action. And then for this one, I can just do, let's see here. Well, I mean, I'm still actually looking at all this stuff too. It is actually pretty fun. Maybe with this one, I have to, maybe I wanna go inside of my, my home options. So when you tap on this one, now you can see a lot of the, the, the home options that you have when it comes down to this home that you're taking a look at. Now I'll show you how you can do that another way here in just a second, but I wanna show you this. So I'm gonna leave that one empty because you kind of get the gist of what's going on. So now that you have played with all this one, you're able to bring in an application. You can bring in a shortcut, bring in a launcher action. You can bring in a widget. So you can actually even just bring in a Android widget from the normal Android side of your phone, the Samsung One UI 8. Or you can use some of these widgets that come with this, this square home. So this is where I had that battery circle. Uh, that's where I brought in the flashlight. Now let's say that we go right on back, we go back to widget, and then this time I wanna do Android widget. Now this is where you have all those widgets. Oops, I gotta swipe over. So this is where you have all of the widgets from the normal side of your phone. So if there's like a Google one that you use or a modes and routine, uh, again, a lot of these widgets are based on which applications that you have. For weather, let's say that we wanna bring in one of our little weather ones. So we can just do, let's see, there's a weather, there's a current weather and forecast, current weather and forecast, and let's see here. And so now we got our weather widget. And so for this one, maybe we want this one to be a little bit larger. So I'm gonna make it large. And then I can always bring it up to the top if that makes sense. Let's see where possibly I would wanna put it. And then you can see how everything just moves along with it. So let's see here, I'm gonna put it there. And then I'm gonna just keep bringing it up and I'm gonna put it right there in the center. So now we have a different setup for this phone. Now this up here, this is just a folder. This is, uh, you know, just like kind of like a, a wallpaper that's just constantly moving. And I selected a particular folder for this, you know, to work. So if you press and hold on it, then you go to the, the, photo, the photo folder and this is the one that I use. So I brought in a bunch of pictures that I took over in California. And so that is actually what it's, it's just rummaging through right up there on the very top. And you can delete that if you would want to as well. So now this is a little bit of our setup that we have. If you, if you tap this, it's gonna open up your regular Samsung phone. If you open this up, it's gonna open up this regular Samsung uh, you know, messages. Here is your regular gallery. So you know it, it's a launcher that is not fully taking over the entire phone. It's just the aesthetics of what you see on the very front. And then when it comes down to this little cluster that you see here, you can open this up and it goes right inside of there. It's just a way to kind of save space and have four things you know sit in one location now that we've taken a look at this main home page here right where you're able to fully manipulate everything we hit this little plus button we took a look at a lot of the stuff the divider where you can just put in a title and it divides so you can create like a, a section for tools or social apps or everything youtube or whatever your tile group app drawer i mean we already went through everything and now if you do a pinch to zoom this is where you have more. You can actually lock this. So if you want this to be locked to where you're not creating any edits again, you can do that. 
Uh, and then you just have to go back into the, the settings for this to, to unlock it. So now that we have locked it, we are not able to edit. There's no plus button anymore. Let's say that we do a little press and hold. I can't move these around. I can't, I can't make them bigger or smaller. With some of these applications, when you do a press and hold, then it's gonna give you uh, some you know, shortcuts of what you'd like to do. So if you'd like to send out an email or compose something, you can do that. Now, if you wanna go back and edit this, you just do a pinch to zoom again, you tap that, and then now you're able to edit again and everything's kind of open. And then you also got that plus button back. Also, when you do a pinch to zoom, this is where you can bring in a whole nother page. The page over here will just be completely empty. It's a blank slate. It's just fully black. Then you just start bringing in your barriers and your, your tiles all by yourself. I already did that. And then I hit this delete button because I didn't need it. I just want the one. Then this is where you can change the style of it. So if you want the style to change, you know, have different colors, then what you have over here is menu. Now this is a lot of stuff. So for wallpaper, you can actually have a wallpaper. If you wanna bring in a picture, you can do that. So if I was to hit on okay, then it's gonna go through my images and I bring one in. Now, if I don't want to do that, let's say that I do this pinch to zoom, I go back to the menu, I go back to wallpaper. Uh, this is where I just chose a color. So I chose this right inside of here and I went to this like darker red and then that was it. So originally it was black on the background, but I thought the darker red, kind of popped out a little bit more. And so that's what I did. So now you have your home options. When it comes down to home options, you have behavior and UI, and there's a lot that you can play with. You can move this over into tablet mode if you want to change the screen orientation. Uh, I mean, there's just a lot you can do. You can change like the theme. A lot of the stuff, I didn't fully go through everything just because there is actually quite a bit. You have live tile, you have tile sizes and style. So you can go through and you can change some of these if you would like to. So like I said from before, this thing is fully customizable. App drawer, uh, this is where if you'd like to have it as a list, because uh, before, as I mentioned, it's just these little tiles. So you can turn it into a list if you would like, probably something that you're a little bit more used to. Uh, reset the, uh, the sort order. You can have groups of icons, so they'll be able to all be grouped together. I mean, again, there is, there's a lot inside of here. You got your icon style. So this is just the, you know, whatever style of icons you would like, you can change them if you would like to. There's also animated icons for Google and Cortana. Here are some of the icon packs. Again, a lot of stuff that you can change, but I do like the way that it came. Contacts, you also have key and gestures. So this is what uh, I was able to show you with a double tap where it was empty. It would open up Spotify. If I swiped up with two fingers, so uh, right there, the two finger swipe up, it opened up YouTube. And if you wanna do two finger down, you can. If you wanna do a, uh, you know, like a pinch out, you can have that do something as well. My pinch in, uh, that's gonna be my page manager. And yeah, just go through this thing, play around if, with it if you want to. You can always, uh, you know, bring it back to default if you would like to. And so that right there was all of the home options. Then you have system settings inside of the system settings. Uh, it's just your regular phone. <laughs> so there's really nothing too crazy going on with that one. So again, this is just going into your system. If there's anything you need to change, it's a fast way to go back over into your regular Samsung One UI 8 if that's you know what you would like to change back. Going back over here, uh, we already talked about wallpaper. You can edit the lock and you also have backup center. So let's say that you created a whole screen that you love, right? And you wanna make sure that if for some reason you made some changes and you wanna go back, just go inside of your backup center. And I've already backed one up and it's backed up from October 23rd at 135. So that was like an hour ago. So if I made a whole bunch of changes, which I made a few changes, I can actually just go right here and then I can restore what I originally had before I started shooting this video. And then it's restored right on back. So, I mean, this is a pretty fun thing. It's just opening up the regular Samsung applications. You got your Chrome, uh, you got everything that was normally there. It's just a different way of getting to a lot of these settings. Uh, and then you can, again, make these bigger, you can make them smaller, whatever size you would like them to have. Also, you'll have settings this way, if you wanna change, you know, how a few, of a few of these things interact with a tap or a long press, you can do that. Again, if you swipe down, this is gonna be your normal notifications. And what's really cool is that you can have some of these shortcuts uh, that are right here to where you can bring in notifications, you can bring in your settings. And then if you ever want to go right on back to what you were normally playing with, then this is where you'd be able to just go inside of your apps screen. Then you go to default, 
And then for your home app, you can bring it right back to Samsung One UI 8. So at any point in time you ever want to come back to this, you can. And then anytime you want to go back inside of your square home, you got it right here. So even if you just do this right here, you know, and then you like close out your phone, let's say that you bring it right up, right back in, you're still on your regular Samsung. If you just want to play with this temporarily here and there until you get used to it, uh, you can just keep this one the way it is. So now when I just, you know, hit on the power button, and then I bring it right on back, it's gonna bring me back inside of here. Just remember, anytime that you are playing with some of these, hit, uh, you know, swipe it on back. Because anytime that you're inside of like, let's say an application and you swipe up, it's gonna take you right back home. Again, it's something uh, that you're able to just fully play around with it and you're not stuck in a different launcher or resetting your entire home settings or home screen uh, from before. And then lastly, where I will finish off is when you go and you do your little pinch to zoom, you go back inside of your menu. And when you go to the home options, again, this is just all the settings, you know, for home, you can even set, you know, the home default right there on the very top because I switched it back to Samsung One UI 8. So this is actually a quicker way to actually do it. But when you go on the very bottom, if you have a little bit of questions or you want to go back to that setup wizard, you can go inside of here and then you can, you can start it all. So right here, this is where I changed it from the three to the four. So I am using the four. Uh, this is where you can have, you know, rounded, you can have background effect, you can have it as no effect, blurred, transparent, or refraction. Um, and then this is where you just allow it to give you the notifications through this application, you know? Uh, and yeah, and then there's some FAQs and a few additional things if you'd like to learn a little bit more. And then live tile, this is just letting you know, like, hey, you're going to get notifications. Uh, when it comes down to animations, you're going to have some advanced animations. You'll get a media controller. If you have an application that supports a media controller like YouTube or YouTube music, you know, aggressive animations. So there's a lot of cool settings you can do here. Same thing with that app drawer where you can turn it into an app uh, or, or like a list. You can do that with your contacts as well. So right now they are all those little tiles. They actually look like this. And then you can turn it into a list type if you would like. So again, I swiped up, it took me back home. If you turn it into the default, if, when you swipe up, it'll never do that. When you take a look at your contacts, this is what it looks like. So if they have images with them, they will have images. If they don't, then they don't. Um, but yeah, so that is everything I wanted to share in today's video. That is Square Home. This is turning your Samsung phone, even the S24, the S25, the Galaxy Z Fold 7, whatever, anything that's in Samsung One UI 7, Samsung One UI 8, you now have a Windows phone. But again, you can make it temporary to where you're not completely stuck with it, unless if you want it to be the default. Hopefully you guys have appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.